Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video and today we are talking about money and more importantly the best, fastest and most efficient ways to make money in game. Zenny, the currency of Monster Hunter is used for pretty much everything. Buying and upgrading your weapons and armour, purchasing items from the shop, even eating at the canteen. And while doing quests rewards you with money, or Zenny, the further you progress in the game, the more expensive weapon and armor upgrades become, and before you know it, you'll be fast running out. Sure, you can sell some of your items to make money, but you really want to try and avoid selling monster parts because you know there's going to come a time in the future where you just wish you had one more scale from that monster that you sold a while back, and then you have to go out and farm it again. So with that being said, here are the top three ways to make money fast in Monster Hunter World. If you do enjoy this, then a like will be super appreciated. Be sure to comment down below, let me know if you guys have any questions. And also, if you guys haven't already entered the giveaway we're running for the limited edition Monster Hunter World Rathalos Edition PS4 Pro, then click the link in the description box down below. Now, kicking things off with number three, you have the good old-fashioned Might Seed Farm. For those of you guys that have played Monster Hunter before, you'll likely be familiar with this, but if you're new, then Might Seeds are an item that you can find right at the beginning of the game. You can pick them up from the ground around the ancient forest, and they can be combined with other items to form things like Demon Powder, or they can even be consumed on their own for a small attack boost. But the reason they're relevant to this topic is because Might Seeds also sell for 140 zenny per seed. Now 140 zenny might not sound like a lot, and it's not on its own. But when you begin to farm these seeds and you sell them in stacks of 100, then that's when they start to become lucrative. Once you've completed the Tobikodachi quest, you'll unlock the ability to farm select items over here. You can leave an item cultivating while you go out on quests, and come back later to collect them. Each quest is one rotation, the box has a capacity of 10, so you can come back 10 quests later to collect your supplies. Now to begin with, the farm will only let you cultivate some very basic items, herbs, honey, a few other things like that. But if you want to be able to farm things like Might Seeds, then you want to get to the 4 star quests and you want to do this optional quest here, Persistent Pests. It'll have you hunt 14 Hornitas in the Rotten Vale, they're the tiny grasshopper looking bugs, you can find them right outside the camp. It's a super easy quest to do, but upon doing that you'll then be able to farm Might Seeds among other things. Now if you complete the delivery quest later in the game, you'll also be able to unlock more slots so you can farm or cultivate more than one item at a time, but either way, put your Might Seeds here and just leave them. Ideally, you'll be in a position where you just cultivate stacks of these so that when the time comes that you need money, you can sell all the might seeds you have in your box for a nice amount of zenny. Just make sure you save one so you can then farm it again. Next up, in at number two, you have investigations. Now I explained what these were in my video that went up yesterday, so if you missed that then I'll link it down below, but investigations are this pool of never-ending quests, each of which have their own parameters. They offer bonus rewards, but the reason they're relevant to making money is that sometimes the reward money on these quests is quite high. For example, I had a rather lucky quest during my time playing when I had to kill 10 of those Hornita bugs, and the reward money was 10,000 zenny. Now yes, investigations can only be done a finite number of times, but this quest allowed me to complete it 5 times, so that was a nice chunk of zenny, 50k, for just killing a bunch of bugs. Now sure, you won't always get that lucky, but it's worth paying attention to these, because if you just so happen to be farming a monster for its armour or its weapon, for example, check to see if you have an investigation. If you do, do that instead of the bog standard optional quest. Not only do you get extra rewards for the investigations, but there's a chance that the reward money will be considerably higher than a regular optional quest. Thus, you're making money as you go and farm. However, moving on from there to number one, I'm going to drop a super light spoiler warning here just in case you guys don't want to see it since I'm about to show you a new mantle. It's really small in the grand scheme of things, but if you don't want to see it, then now would be the point to step away. However, by far the best, fastest and most efficient way to make money is using the bandit mantle. You get this by completing the 5 star quest redefining the power couple which will have you hunt a Rathalos and a Rathian together. Once you complete this, speak to the lady in the workshop and she will give you this. This is a mantle that causes monsters to drop trading items when you attack them. Now trading items are valuable items that have no use in crafting gear or weapons, their sole purpose is to be sold, and the harder the monster that you fight the more valuable the trading items they drop. With this mantle equipped, when you begin fighting a monster, it'll start glowing. When you've done enough damage and the mantle goes gold, you'll hear that an item has dropped and you can pick it up. You can do this all while the mantle remains active, so depending on how efficient you are or how much damage you're dealing, you can get a good number of these to drop. Now in this instance, I'm actually farming a low rank Gelatados with high rank gear. Each of the items that Gelatados drops sells for 1000 zenny. And at the time it takes me to kill it, I managed to get it to drop 14 of these items, so that is 14,000 zenny in a matter of minutes. 
What's more is that you can then use these mantles in a team, and the items dropped by the mantle can also benefit everyone else. So if you then both run with the mantle, you can double, triple, or even quadruple the items that drop. There does appear to be a certain limit when using them together, so what I found to be most effective is to have one person use their mantle until it wears off, and then the other person takes over. This seems to ensure that you're maximising your drops. Once the quest is complete, you return to town, sell all the trading items, and go off and spend your hard-earned cash. On the topic of trading items, later in the game you'll also have the captain come to visit and he can bring items on his ship. You can edit the types of items that he brings, and if you change all these to trading items, then when he comes around every few quests, you can purchase all the items for points and sell them for money. But that's just a little bit extra. For the time being, that's it. Those are my top three tips for earning money in this game. If you always have the Might Seed farm on the go, and you carry your bandit mantle with you at all times, then you'll always be in a good position to stay stocked up on cash. Again, if you have any questions, by all means let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.